Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video right here, we're going to be taking a look at another Unreal Engine 5.2 DLSS 3 demo that I just kind of put together to test out DLSS 3. Uh, that being said, if you want to play around with this yourself, I am letting y'all download this on ArtStation for like a dollar. If you want to benchmark your computer, actually, we've been seeing a lot of people kind of get this and then use their own GPU or whatever and make a video out of it. Pretty interesting stuff as far as the performance of what they're getting. All right, so with that being said, here we are in Mavi's Forest. Uh, I think this is a Knefer, Knifer one. I mean, Mavi's got pretty much the best looking forest out there. I'm actually uh, hoping that if I get enough sales from this, that I would get his new one, which is like $350, and then you know do one for that. So we have Press J to DLSS on, K Ultra Performance, and then L, pretty much the same exact thing. And yeah, just a little forest scene here with a soldier type-ish. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So this is gonna turn on DLSS. So you can see our thing already jumped to like 50 frames per second. It's pretty darn interesting, man. This is, this is pretty cool, because again, eventually, I know it's taking longer <laughs> and people are getting tired of demos and such, but eventually, this is gonna, games are gonna start looking like this. I mean, to me, this looks pretty darn good. And this is definitely playable at 45 frames per second, but, you know, that's just, that's just me. I know some people like to play in higher frames per second. So if I press K right here, this is going to be ultra performance. So we're getting about 110 frames per second. And what's interesting about the whole DLSS 3 deal is I'm seeing a lot of arguments online about people not necessarily liking DLSS 3 because they think, well, they calling it fake frames. Um, the argument goes, why would you pay money for fake frames? Which uh, kind of just like, it's a little bit shocking to me because like video games aren't really real. <laughs> so it's like, freight frames or not, it, I mean, looking at this right now, at ultra performance, it looks like a video game to me, but a realistic one, and I'm getting a pretty darn good FPS in it. So, again, it, it's just, a lot of people are still kind of thinking, like, the LSS3 is useless and a waste of money, but as, as a dev, as a, a filmmaker here in Unreal Engine 5, and making small demos, man, the LSS3 is pretty darn incredible. So that's ultra performance. Let's skip to performance now. I just pressed L, this is gonna be performance. And again, 90 frames per second at Epic. This is pretty insane, man. I wouldn't have been able to run it this well without. And it's just gonna improve from here. It's like AI, DLSS 4, and then RTX 5090. That combination right there, man, that's exciting stuff. So that is performance. Uh, let's go to you, which is quality. Yeah, this, this looks fantastic. And it's kind of hard to, it's hard to showcase this over the internet because of compression and such. That's why I'm glad people are just, you know, buying it for like a dollar and testing it out with their own systems, because what I'm seeing right now here while playing it is a lot different than what you're watching at home. This, this looks incredible. And even a quality settings in a dense nanite forest, this is awesome. Now I did put 12 enemies in here, if I remember correctly, just kind of for fun. A little bit of gameplay in here. It is massive. It's a massive map. See some health right here as well. You can pick up. It's super big. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to find all 12 of them. But if you do, make a video of it. And let's see how fast you do it. Because I have a timer up there. It's like six minutes. Six minutes, I've only killed one. <laughs> all right. So that is you. So let's press I. This is going to be your balance right here. Actually, sorry. This is quality. The U... Let me see. Yeah, U is balance. I is going to be your quality. So FPS is going to drop a little bit. 
And honestly, all this whole time I've been flipping switches, you probably, aside for ultra performance, you're not really seeing much of a change. The, the game still looks good, you know? And it's cool because some people were trying this out with like a 4080 or some of the demos. I made two demos already with DLSS 3. And those 4080s are running pretty darn well too. And again, that's like as a uh, as a RTX 4090 user, I'm uh, like, that's not fair. I paid $1,700 for mine and they're able to do that with a 480, 4080 card. But at the same time, I'm not selfish, man. Like, hey, if you can play the same quality as I can with a $1,700 card with a 4080, that's very good on you. And I'm happy for you, man. So that is, we did um, balance quality. And then, oh, this is going to turn on 100% screen percentage with DLSS still. So at 55 frames per second. This is close to not having DLSS. I mean, it's still 55 frames per second. So it's still playable to me at least for a single player game. All right, so let's go back to our K, which is our ultra performance here. And let us do something crazy here. Let's change everything to ultra. Now this is similar to the cinematic settings. Um, as far as in Unreal, if you're familiar with that, the scalability. So we are running cinematic settings now at 88, 87 frames per second. Again, if you've been with me, with me for a while, you know that this was this is not a thing. We've tried these maps before on the channel with the same card without DLSS. I mean, I guess I can turn it off. So this is off right now. 7 frames per second, bro. 7 frames per second. Press K again to turn it on. So, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just crazy. So let me turn it on J and then K. Oh, shoot. Totally forgot about that one. Ah, crap. Let's start over. I didn't even hear the footsteps. All right, so where, where were we? Let's go with Ultra. All right, so here we are at Ultra again. Um, and it was, let's go with L now. This is quality, I believe. Actually, let me go ahead and look at my cheat sheet. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting everything mixed up. So L is performance. So J is on, K is ultra, L is performance. Okay. Yep. I had it right the first time. So again, this is running performance now, right? And, and, and this is cinematic setting, man. This is cinematic setting. I, I... I shouldn't, like, 7 frames per second to 40 frames per second with DLSS 3 is pretty darn good. Because we are actually able to play it in here. That scalability setting is supposed to be just for cinematics. Alright, so let's go with, so that's, that's performance. Let's go with balance. This is balance now. And man, this is, at this, this 4090 is, is submitting. But at the same time, that's still 30 frames per second. Because if now, again, I'm going to press P to turn off the LSS 3. I don't know if this is going to crash or not. If it crashes, that's the end of the video. But if I press P now, real quick, we have, again, 7 frames per second. <laughs> and then we'll go to balance here. And we're back to 2832. And, and what I like about this whole technology is anybody can try this like if you don't believe what you're seeing here go download the plugin and use it too there is no snake oil whatsoever man anybody can do this right now and i really do like that because a lot of companies out there would showcase something in a video or something and not really share much info about it let alone let people try it on their own so Again, the transparency with this tech with NVIDIA, somebody at home being able to try this out and such and sharing with others, man, that is, I'm all for that. That is giving uh, power to the people, to be honest. This is super cool. I, cinematic settings, man. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, check the link in the description in the comments below if you want to go and try this out yourself. If you do try it out, go, you know, tag me or something so I can see your performance because I'm curious. I only have, a, you know, the 4090 here and then the 4060 Ti. 
Um, let me know. Additionally, if you bought the Alexa Dreams VR demo for like a dollar, again, um, I just updated it yesterday, which I added a an input, a keyboard input that lets you increase the quality of the pixel because I know some of y'all were asking like, hey, how can I increase the resolution? So again, I updated that. Go check it out. It's the Electric Dreams VR with the Quest 2 that I um, uh, let y'all download. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.